How likely will colon cancer spread even if a patient is on chemotherapy? Another important question, and rightfully so, is the question of, will the chemotherapy prevent my disease from spreading while I'm on it? That is an important question because if a patient's getting chemotherapy to improve their quality of life, but however, the disease is spreading on chemotherapy, how beneficial is it? The different ways of predicting whether a therapy is working or not. The two biggest factors for that, one is tolerance to chemotherapy. You could have the most effective therapy in curing your cancer or preventing it from spreading, but if a patient does not tolerate that well, that is not the most beneficial therapy for that specific patient. So tolerability is number one. The second one is response to therapy. Response to therapy is measured by different parameters. One from a clinical standpoint, wherein if a patient's feeling good, doing well, then you know that the patient is more than likely responding to therapy. Number two is by tumor markers. Certain cancers, such as colon cancer, have proteins that are being secreted into your blood, which can be measured with routine blood tests. If those blood tests indicate that the proteins are decreasing, then more than, more than likely it is effective against your cancer and your cancer is under control. Number three is using imaging techniques. These imaging techniques could be PET scans and MRIs or CAT scans and a combination of a clinical exam, tumor markers and radiological imaging is extremely important in monitoring your response to therapy. For an interactive tool to learn more about your colon cancer and your personalized treatment options, go to mycoloncancercoach.org.